What's going on, everybody? Welcome back into another episode of Today in the NA. I'm your host, Brandon Hofstra. We had an NAHL alumni making his NHL debut. Some news out of the Midwest Division. We'll take a look at the weekend matchups and, of course, the latest NCAA commitments. 2024 top prospect and Lone Star Brahma defenseman Bryce Ingles announced his commitment to play Division I hockey for Robert Morris University in the Atlantic Hockey Conference. The Clyde, Michigan native leads the Lone Stars in scoring from the blue line, tallying six goals and 25 assists in 47 games. He also leads the NAHL with a plus 37 rating. Bismarck Bobcat forward Julian Beaumont will be playing alongside Ingles in the near future as he's also committed to Robert Morris University. The second year forward out of Allen, Texas is nearing on point per game pace with the Bobcats, logging 15 goals and 20 assists in 39 games. He joins a large group of committed players from Bismarck's roster, becoming the 13th player committed to playing Division I hockey. Odessa Jackalope's defenseman Riley Rosenthal made his commitment to play NCAA Division I hockey for Stonehill College. The Florida native is playing in his fourth season of junior hockey and his first in the NAHL, where he's recorded three goals and seven assists through 38 games so far this year. Like Ingles, Rosenthal was also selected to participate in the Top Prospects Tournament, where he represented Team Selects. The top prospects commits continue to flood in as Colorado Grit defenseman Bowen Burke announced he will be playing collegiate hockey at Union College. The Scottsdale, Arizona native is playing in his first year of juniors and has been playing an integral part of the inaugural Grit roster. In 41 games, Burke has tallied 19 points, which paces him second on the roster and first among all defensemen. Oklahoma Warriors defenseman Max Vig made his announcement that he will be playing in the CCHA for Bemidji State University in the near future. The future Beaver is playing in his rookie season with the Warriors where he's logged six goals and 12 assists in 43 games. The 05 birth year will have another year of development in junior hockey before he joins the growing list of NAHLers poised to play for Bemidji State. On President's Day earlier this week, former Minot Minotaro Mason Morelli made his NHL debut with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Morelli appeared in games between 2011 and 2013, amassing 30 points in 65 career NHL regular season games. Morelli wasted no time in reaching milestones in the NHL, recording his first goal in the opening period on the power play. He also added an assist later in the game in the Knights' 4-0 win over the San Jose Sharks. We have another NHL alumni making strides in professional hockey as former NHL netminder Ivan Prozvatov earned the AHL's Player of the Week award. The former Minnesota magician went undefeated in three games he appeared in throughout the week, boasting a 1.67 goals against average and a .949 save percentage. The former fourth round pick has appeared in 11 NHL games this year for the Colorado Avalanche. The North American Hockey League's member team, the Janesville Jets, have broke ground on Tuesday on a new facility in Janesville, Wisconsin. The Woodsman Sports and Convention Center, also known as the WSCC, which is projected to be a $23 million project, will serve the local Janesville community. The 130,000 square foot facility will become a natural economic driver for South Central Wisconsin. Play home to the NAHL's Janesville Jets and become an impact through job creation, revitalization, and resource conservation while increasing property value and tax revenues. Fairbanks Ice Dogs general manager Rob Profit was enshrined into Fairbanks Hockey Hall of Fame at a ceremony over the weekend at the Big Dipper Ice Arena. Profit, who has been with the team in the NAHL since 2003, has been a part of three Robertson Cup championships. Let's finish today's episode by going over some weekend matchups to look out for. Beginning in the East, the sixth place Generals will play host to the fourth place Tomahawks in a matchup where both teams are looking to pick up crucial points to solidify their playoff position. They are trending in opposite directions as the visitors hold a 7-3 record in their last 10 games, while the Generals are on a bit of a skid falling in seven of their last 10. The Chippewa Steel and Anchorage Wolverines will face off for a three-game series this weekend in Alaska. The visitors who currently sit outside of playoff position will be looking to bounce back from last weekend as they fell in consecutive matchups to the Ice Dogs. Anchorage will look to continue their strong play as of late, winning three consecutive games and four consecutive on home ice. In the last key matchup will take place in Oklahoma as the Warriors will look to cool down the red-hot mud bugs. Shreveport heads into the weekend with nine wins in their last ten games. Oklahoma sits in the final playoff position in the South, but will look to climb up the ladder and solidify their spot above the Jackalopes in seven. Again, don't forget you can catch all the action all weekend long exclusively on NAHL TV, your home for everything that is the North American Hockey League. And stay up to date with our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and our website as well. Till next time, I'm Brandon Hofstra. Thanks for watching Today in the NA.